All right, so for years, the experts said quantum computing, eh, it's interesting, but, you know, like the Star Trek kind of stuff, way, way in the future. I mean, even McKinsey had this really long timeline. Of course, that was until this year. Now the firm says that the game is on when it comes to quantum. Signs from Wall Street also that the game is on. Just in the past 24 hours, check, check this out. D-Wave just raised $400 million in a stock offering that was at a premium, and a major Wall Street firm initiated coverage on quantum this morning. Uh, so things are certainly look up, looking up in the world of quantum. I'm going to bring in uh, the man that was there long before the rest of Wall Street, EMJ Capital founder, market uh, founder and president, Eric Jackson. Eric, uh, you know, so you've got uh, Canic uh, no, was it Canaccord? Um, Cantor. Cantor starts four firms on Wall Street uh, on quantum, right? Uh, you got QBTS with a $20 target, Rigetti, RGTI15, IonQ45. I, I mean, how remarkable is it? I know you must love it. <laughs> well, uh, kudos to you, Charles, because uh, six months ago, you, you called me up, said, hey, I want you to come on, talk about quantum. Nobody was talking about quantum back then. And, uh, and, look, and look at those returns since then. The one that I was pounding the table on back then was this little micro cap company called BTQ Technologies and post quantum cryptography. It's been a 25, 25 bagger in the last six months, Charles. So, you know, kudos to you. And um, uh, I think this, this run is getting started. I think back then I said uh, BTQ was a thousand bagger. So yeah. we, got a, we got a 40 bagger still to go with, with, uh, with BTQ. But those, those other names are great, Ion Q, uh, is a solid company. Um, and this is like investing in Bitcoin back in 2014, 2015. This is still so early. So, okay. And, and you, so you had the, the BTQ. Uh, you also had the DeFi. Uh, they made big runs. You do, for the audience, to, just to be clear, you still think they're buys. Yeah, I, I, I do. Um, you know, BTQ, yeah, it's just getting started. It's just in the process of uplisting to NASDAQ. Um, they are, you know, we're still so early in terms of, you know, needing the security to protect ourselves from these quantum attacks. Uh, so they're, they're just getting started. I, I still see a 40 bagger ahead for, for them. Um, but I, I have a, a couple of other names, Charles, which I wanted to mention, uh, which I think are, uh, are also have huge opportunities. I'm banging the table for them right now. Let's talk about them. <laughs> Iron and Cypher. Iron, uh, you know, both are thought of as Bitcoin miners, but really both are sort of the keys to unlocking the potential of AI over the coming years ahead. We always hear about how Meta and uh, Microsoft are investing in this CapEx to try to build out the data centers. These two stocks, Iron and Cypher, are sitting on, they've made the investments already. They've built um, the, the, the facilities, the data centers, the power connects, they've got the permits, they've got the land. They're in Texas mostly. That over the next year, they're going to deliver each three gigawatts of power. You know, we did we did about 50 gigawatts in the last year for to power AI data centers, uh, but it's insatiable. We need more. So these companies, still valued like they're sort of low multiple Bitcoin miners, are actually keys to unlocking the potential for the the Metas, the Microsofts, the Core Weaves of the world. I think both are going to sign significant deals. With the, like the oracles, you know the, the project Stargates of the future. So I think these are ten baggers over the next year. I think these are hundred baggers over the next five years. C O R Z. Just for those folks listening on the radio, is, uh, it's up. It made a pretty good move, and uh, and it's scuttlebutt about them being taken over. I I, I love Core Scientific too. Not as much as as Cipher and Iron, uh, but but because they have a deal on the table. Basically, right. CoreWeave has sort of indicated, according to the Wall Street Journal, that in the coming weeks, they're going to acquire Core Scientific. Uh, now, Roth and Cantor you know, have both said that probably they're going to have to pay something like in the 30s to wow. take out Core wow. Scientific. So you've still got a potential double over the next coming weeks, in my opinion, yeah. uh, because of, of the, the strategic value that, that Core has and that these other players have. By the way, full disclosure, I also have subscribers in that stock as well, so I hope you're right. Eric, you've been great on all of this stuff. Appreciate you. Have a great 4th of July. You too. Thanks, Charles. All right, folks, in the market, really, the upward bias is back. Even when we open lower, we've been finding ways to close higher. Of course, there's one hour trading left. Liz, Liz will take you through it.